What do you tell your family or friends what you do for a job? Well, I say I work on the internet. I feel that like sounds it, super shady. I know. I don't think there's any other way to describe it. Mm -hmm. I tell my dad, two million people saw that video. He's like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't even know how to open up a browser and look up YouTube. <laughs> What's an email? <laughs> I'm Jocelyn Davis. I'm an executive producer and host at Clever. Clever is the number one entertainment news platform on YouTube. Over 5 million subscribers, about 170 million views per month, and we do everything from entertainment news to personality-driven content to beauty fail videos. I'm Erin Robinson. I'm a host and a producer at Clever Media. I'm hanging out with my girl Jocelyn, who is a biffle of mine, my work wife, my co-host, my counterpart, my partner in crime. And we're going to be chatting about Clever and the digital media landscape generally. I should probably put all my, my liquids all away. Beverages. Should we get weird on this? All right, three. You guys thought we were professionals, right? <laughs> Welcome to the internet, guys. <laughs> it's two people and Brandon. All right. Three, two, and one. Erin, I can paint the rest of your nails, not just this one nail you have painted. I went to take my nail polish off and I was so busy I forgot. This is very hip hop. Wow, I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna sport this loud and proud then. Thumbs up. It's kind of crazy to think that Clever TV specifically, which was our first channel that we ever launched, was really one of the first partner channels on YouTube. How do you find yourself describing Clever to somebody who maybe has no idea? Well, I think it's gotten a little bit easier as digital content has become more prominent. Seven years ago when we started Clever, people thought YouTube was only for like cat videos, but yeah. now YouTube has so much premium content. We thought, hey, like, Let's just do some coverage on this Hannah Montana and this new 14-year-old kid from Canada named Justin Bieber. And immediately we saw an explosion because all these kids who weren't being fed the news they wanted on television were coming to us. This world still is the Wild West. You just go do it. I mean, if we were working in traditional media, like TV, it's just we wouldn't be able to do all the things that we're doing. I think one of the most challenging things for me entering the digital space was that we were so involved in every step of the process. It's overwhelming mm -hmm. at first, you know, and, and we're literally a part of it from the inception of the thought to the final upload of the video. And there's so much power in that. And in traditional media, a if lot you're talent, of, if you're talent, that's what you do. Talent only. We get to do it all. And it, the other cool thing too about what we're able to do is that our audience is so much a part of it. When you're on the internet every day, you see the views, you see 200,000, 500,000, a million views. That doesn't feel like real people. But right. when people come up to you shaking because they've been watching you for five years, Suddenly you're like, wow, people really mm -hmm. do watch our content. Even just the last year alone has been really exciting. We had our biggest month ever. I think it was 190 million video views. But last year this time we were at half that. Mm -hmm. We were like 80 million views a month. What do you think is the difference, if there is a difference, between people that Hollywood would call celebrities and then these celebrities from the internet? I want YouTubers and creators to gain the appreciation for how talented they are. You know, Variety did this article last year where they asked who the biggest celebrities in Hollywood were. And the number one celebrity, it's actually a duo, was Smosh. And they are the people that young people are relating to more so than like a Jennifer Lawrence or a Justin Bieber or a Selena Gomez. And that says, everything. The moment that I realized that network television is really starting to honor YouTubers is when we got cast on the upcoming season of Amazing Race. Erin and I are going on the, the Amazing, Amazing Race. Erin, it's the Amazing Race season 28. Tranny mode, beast mode. Ah! <laughs> that whole cast, every single person was a YouTube, Vine, digital celebrity. What do you want to see happen as far as the digital media platform mm -hmm. goes over the next couple of years? I'm just really excited for the future for these incredible creators to continue having the opportunities they're having, continuing to grow their businesses, their brands, and I think the moment that you stop changing, that you get complacent is the moment you're not relevant.
anymore. And even in the last couple of years, we've seen an influx of so mm -hmm. much capital where companies are wanting to advertise in digital. And that's something that five years ago didn't happen. So I think that you are gonna see YouTubers venture into the TV and film world, but I just think that more of the viewership of traditional media are gonna venture onto digital. Mm -hmm. We're gonna kill it. The next five Woo! years are gonna be epic. I'm Can't gonna, wait. Yeah. Can't wait for five years from now. <laughs>